right here's page 24 um, I have to say it right off the bat this one is a very uh, worded uh, problem or a problem that has many steps in one uh, but I think I just want you to still be able to think this through and see the connections that that are there and how the scale factor is always present and how does it how do you use it to help you uh, figure out other things okay so here we have that Troy won a car right that is 12 point a toy car sorry that's 12.5 centimeters long has a surface area of 48 centimeters squared and a volume of 1.5 cubic centimeters then we're told the volume of the actual car is this right so when you when when you read that i don't know if it if it stands out to you or not but the first thing is that we're talking about the actual car and then there's the toy car right so in this case i will give the toy car the label of diagram so instead of new and original i rather stick with uh, actual and diagram right so that's one thing i want to uh, highlight right away and then the other part uh, what does it ask for an it determine the scale factor used to build the toy car so um just to give you a little illustration right? so if this is the toy car right if this is the diagram obviously we know that in reality, this car is much bigger, right? So this is definitely, uh, sorry, my drawing skills aren't the best, but this is the actual car, okay? And uh, quite often when you're given diagrams, there's something that corresponds. So it could be the height, the length, it could be the surface areas, the volumes. There's something that you know about both of them. And that's how you're going to find the scale factor, right? We know that something, like we always, we're always going to say what happens in the original to go from the actual or original to that diagram, right? Like what happened? And the answer is a scale factor happened. And we don't know what it is at this point. It's, we're not given that. But if you, uh, if you look carefully, we have the volume of the actual car and we also have the volume of the toy car right so there's a there's that link that will allow us to find the scale factor something that both of them it corresponds volume corresponds to volume right so there's just a slight problem with it is that uh, this is in cubic meters and this is in cubic centimeters so what do you want to do um, I think I'm going to turn my cubic uh, meters to cubic centimeters, and that was kind enough to give you this. But really, it stems from one meter having 100 centimeters. And if you cube it, right, you're going 100 times 100 times 100. So basically, six zeros, right, uh, come from that product. And so that's where you get that from. So for A, to get the scale factor, first and foremost, I will, I will do the conversion, right? So I cube uh, that many cube meters, and that one cubic meter has one million centimeters cubed, and that cancels out. You multiply that out, right? And you should get, uh, there's your answer. 155,000, or sorry, 155 followed by four zeros. It's a million 550,000 cubic centimeters. And now we can use the formula. So normally, right, you would just go K is equal to diagram over actual, but that would be for length, radius, like one dimensional things. But because we're using the volume, right? you would say volume of the diagram divided by volume of actual. Okay, this formula is the one we will be using because we're using we're comparing cubic units, right? So there we go. So Q, uh, K cubed is volume of the diagram, which is 
25 centimeters cubed over a million five hundred fifty thousand cubic centimeters. Okay, so that's my first step, and the units cancel out just nicely there. And I need to take the cubic root, cube root of 125 over a million five hundred fifty thousand, right? Like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So I start with 125 divided by the that number down here. You hit enter, and then we gotta go. It's a very small number. See that? It's a very small number. It's moving the decimal over five places to the left, but that's okay. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna uh, take the cube root of that. So we gotta go math. Fourth option, copy, paste, hit enter, and there's our scale factor to four decimals it's asking for, okay? And it matches the answer that I have there. If you, you can try to turn this into a fraction, it can't, right? So it, that's, just, that's your answer. But we could multiply this by 100 and get 4 point, right? 4.32 percent if you wanted to. So there we go. So this is like a 95.68 percent reduction, right? From the actual to the toy. So there we go. Um, scale factor. Now, this is true. I'm going to circle it. This is now going to be our number. Okay. We're going to use that from now on. We know that the link that has enlarged every single dimension of the, or sorry, reduced, I should say, reduced every single dimension on the actual to get that diagram. Every single dimension has been affected by this scale factor right there. In this case, reduced. Okay, so we can use that to figure out the rest. So for B, it says calculate the length of the actual car. Length, in this case, is one dimensional. Okay, so all we need to do is k is equal to length of diagram divided by the length of actual. Okay, and so I'm gonna, actually going to use that number and then length of diagram. I know that this, that's 12.5 centimeters. And I'm going to figure out the length of the actual. You can put a 1 there, and then it's 12.5 times 1 divided by 0 0.0432. And that should give me the answer that is in brackets. 289.35 centimeters. And it could have asked the meters, <clears throat> what have you. We're just going to leave it like that. And the last one before I need to go here, calculate the surface area of the actual car. Surface area, you should be thinking 2D. So whatever you do, your formula will start like this. Surface area of diagram, sorry, over surface area of actual. Sorry if I'm speeding up a bit. And so my, my scale factor is still the same as before. Surface area of diagram is 48, or, uh, 48 centimeters squared, and this is my unknown. You put the 1 under there, so x is 48 times 1 divided by that scale factor. And let's just make sure that uh, oops, that answer is... Oh. I just fell for it. I just fell for it. That's good that it happens, right? <clears throat> I need to square that, which is, let's adjust that here in our nodes. When we square that, um, I should probably do another line here. I'm going to go 0 0.0018, and that keeps going, is equal to 48 over x. Right, you put a one there, 
It's 48 times 1 divided by 0 0.018. Sorry about that. And now it's going to work out. Having difficulties here. So that's 25, 7, 20. 0.16 centimeters squared, and I could have asked you to turn that into <clears throat> square meters, what have you. There it is. If you want more practice, and I think I may have assigned already some of these, uh, try these questions here. Uh, th those are textbook questions, and uh, we'll continue with this tomorrow. Have a good one.